This tutorial is to show you how to rewire Reason to Samplitude Music Studio 15. I'm also going to show you how to assign multiple outputs. In case you're not familiar with Samplitude Music Studio, there are a couple of settings that need to be checked before continuing. Press Y on the keyboard, which will open the System Global Audio Options. Make sure you have ACO selected and also that the ACO driver is enabled from the list. I'm using the RME Fireface ACO driver. Also, make sure that Mixer FX monitoring is enabled with the fader to the far right. Next, select VST DirectX Rewire and make sure you have Activate Rewire selected as well. Click OK and we are ready to continue. I have track 1 selected and I'm going down to the MIDI panel where it says Out and I'm left clicking on the small downward arrow. At the bottom I'm selecting New Instrument Rewire Reason. Now you can see the Software Instrument Multi-Channel Routing Manager. Click on Extended Options and I'm going to select Multi-Channel Create New Tracks for Instrument Outputs and also select All as Stereo. I'm also leaving Audio MIDI Combined ticked. Click OK to confirm the selection. Reason has opened. I'll minimize it briefly and if we open the mixer you can see that Reason has been assigned to multiple output channels in the Samplitude Music Studio mixer. A total of 32 stereo rewire channels will now be accessible. Right now the sound from Reason is being routed via the master output to track 1 in Samplitude. Track 1 is labeled Mix Left and Mix Right. This is because the sound generators have by default been summed to the stereo output of the Reason mixer. What we need to do is re-patch the generators so they show up as separate channels in Samplitude. The next thing is to reassign the Reason outputs. If I mute channel 1, playback of all the Reason channels is silenced. I'm going to remedy this situation by expanding the hardware device and then pressing the tab key to flip the modules in Reason. I'm disconnecting outputs 1 and 2 and I'm dragging the mixer patch cables up to the hardware device audio outs. That's 1 and 2 repatched. 3 and 4. Now 5 and 6, and if I solo that, the percussion now has its own channel. So I'm disconnecting all the patch cables from the mixer, then I'm rerouting the Reason sound generator outputs directly into the individual audio outputs of the hardware device. And you can see as I reconnect each device that the signal appears in the Samplitude mixer. This allows me to solo the separated Reason tracks and make level adjustments etc. using the Samplitude Music Studio mixer. You can then process the Reason tracks using the built-in effects of Samplitude. Cables are a bit in the way now, so I'm going to hide them so I can see what I'm doing. Just a few more to do and I'll be finished. So that's all the cables repatched. We now have 13 stereo Reason channels reassigned using Rewire to individual Samplitude mixer channels. Everything's connected. Pressing L toggles the cables. If I hover the mouse over the outputs, you can see the names of the devices. Notice that sub bass out is connected to only one side of a stereo output. So I need to select Samplitude Mixer Channel 13. 
solo that channel. You can hear it coming out of the left hand side only. I'll go to the audio panel, left click on in and set the input to mono. And now the bass is centered. So there you have it. Each rewire channel can now be controlled in Samplitude Music Studio. If I flip the hardware device, you can also meter the outputs from there. Anyway, I hope that was useful, and until next time, goodbye for now.